Hey there guys, what's going on? Ragged Rocky and welcome back to another episode of Area 31. And today, we're going to be going over some things we did last time. Um, many of you guys were telling me that nukes aren't that effective. And I'm like, what do you mean? I spent all the time making this nice nuclear explosive. And you said they're strong, but they're not that strong. But whatever, I made it too bad. Today, we're actually going to be leveling up my rapier. I don't actually know much about it, but many of you guys said I need quartz or something like that. And that should increase its attack. So it does only three attack damage right now, and I need quartz to level it up. So we're going to be doing that today. Along with that, I'm going to be talking about some things. Ooh, who's that from? Same guy, XX Ninja's channel. Um, so then we'll go into this. Was I putting that in my ender? No. Get out. Don't put junk in my ender chest. Uh, but basically, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down uh, into the nether, and we're going to get a bunch of quartz. I have my pickaxe that's about to break. Uh, we'll grab three more diamonds here two three that's four uh three diamonds there we go and we're gonna go in here we'll just grab some sticks or some wood or whatever uh stick i do have sticks perfect um then we'll go ahead and crafting bench we'll just make a pace and we're gonna basically go to the nether and get ourselves some nether quartz we're gonna level up that rapier and try to see how much damage we can get it to do we'll start off by getting a stack and just test how much a stack how much that adds in damage value i actually have no idea how much it'll add so we'll go down here and let's find some quartz. Now quartz can... What the heck is that thing? It's so happy. Oh, ow. You blow up fast. It was adorable though. Like, that thing was so cute. I know I probably shouldn't be calling uh, creepers cute, but that thing was adorable. Like, it looks so happy and then it blew up in like a split second. Is this trees this is cool i haven't really done much exploration in the never nether i probably should look at that it's a giant beehive i know i've seen those i should probably do some more like searching around the nether because some of this stuff's actually kind of cool we got some overgrown netherrack and some really cool stuff overall like this is some cool stuff um i haven't really done much search but let, let's 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 stay on task we need nether quartz which can be found right here so let's uh actually let's use this one first we got flesh Oh, that's disgusting flesh that word I just don't enjoy that word I, I'm not I'm not ever gonna put flesh in my base oh just the, the word flesh can I co wait can I cook it is it food chunk of flesh maybe I can cook it in for food nope nope not gonna eat it you know what I'm just gonna say it now I'm not eating flesh is that a spider I what the heck is going on here I I've never done too much research into another but uh this stuff's crazy Wow What's this? It's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it has a weird name. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and find some more quartz. And we got to stay around the nether portal. Oh, there's lots of quartz. Wow. Okay. So let's just start by getting a stack of quartz. So we got some there, there. What is that? Inferno hive. Let's avoid that. I think that'll light me on fire. An inferno hive. Okay. Uh, do I just break it? Can I break it? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see what it does. I'm actually kind of curious to see it. Nothing. It was just a light source. Okay. Probably need some special tool to break it because I'm pretty sure that's what that like bee mo beehive mod or whatever. Uh, so let's, let's just get more quartz. We need a stack. And there is so much quartz. And my power boots are getting annoying because it puts me on top of stuff when mining. Uh, so just mine that. Wow. This is a big vein. Okay. There we go. I think that's it. What's that? Ash. Okay. Uh oh yes oh let's get let's get his thing oh you're done one shotted what did you give me yes i got a tier a gas tier those are actually really rare so i love gas tiers okay let's go ahead here uh let's mine up some more quartz well, that was awesome i'm happy he appeared i'm yet to actually kill a gas in this game so that's my first uh there we go uh let's put that out. okay so we got some more here so we need a stack, and I'm only at 20-something right now. A stack I thought would be much easier to get. Obviously not, even though there is quite a bit of quartz. I think it's just going to be a little more time-consuming. But we want to try and see how much we can get my rapier up in damage, because that thing ignores all armor, okay? Ignores all armor and will be one-shotting or two-shotting people, depending on how strong I can get it. So that's going to be insane if I ever get need to PvP someone in this. Hopefully, I don't have to. Maybe I'll avoid it for another 20 or so episodes. Maybe I'll avoid it for 40 episodes. We don't know. We really don't. We'll find out, though. Uh, so let's see. We'll do that. We'll do that. Get this one here. There we go. Okay, so I'm at the 43. 
So I'm gonna need about math more. I how much how much more is that? So 43. I need a 45. Okay, so I basically need like 20 more. About a little little less now, but so we're basically at 14 more, which this vein might just do it. Uh, so once I figure out how much a stack does, I can figure out how many stacks I'll need to see if I want to do it in this episode or if I want to just do like one of those fast forward thingy majigs or one of those. You know what I'm talking about. So let's see. That puts me at 60. Here we go. Here's three. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. We'll just grab one of these because we only want a stack. Exactly. Okay, so let's go back to my home world. And if I remember correctly, this is going to totally screw me up and send me all the way back to my old base. Wow, this brings back memories. Look at the old base, guys. If you guys are uh, started this series late with me, this used to be my old, old, old base. Has some old stuff here. Wow. Take the minecart, sure. And you can see it just has some older stuff here. Stuff I don't really need. Most of it's kind of junk. Uh, I didn't really do much mining here, honestly. Um, if I remember up here, we'll just go a quick trip through memory lane. But like, this was where I lived. Up here was I put walls around the area because I kept dying. So here's my wheat farm. Uh, yeah, and then I moved, but so now I got to find my new base. Uh, what's funny is one of those wheat wasn't grown, I just realized. So I don't know if someone trampled it and replanted it. So someone might, someone might have been going through this area. I don't know. Hmm. It makes me wonder. Or it could be that maybe it's that team underdog I saw because they had their signs here. And maybe one day I'll get back to my base, but obviously that day is not today. So guys, I got back to the base and um, I noticed this. My runway is even more destroyed and I think leaving the plane out like that must either destroy the ground slowly and do more damage to the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and break this. Um, either that or someone's been here and a creeper blew up. I want to... Do I use a pickaxe? How do I break you? Right click maybe? I have no idea how to break this thing and take it apart. Tail wing? Let's go through it maybe. There we go. Uh, so it is damaged. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's what destroyed this area or what, but something destroyed it. And yeah. Anyway, so we have our stack of uh, nether, whatever you call them, quartz, nether quartz. And we're going to go ahead and use the nether quartz to see how much I can level up my rapier or rapier or rapier, however you say it. And we're going to see how much it will level up depending on how much I have. So let's get the rapier, which is actually a really good reinforced three and everything else. We'll go through here. And I think I have to use it in one of these things, uh, whether it's the tool station, maybe. I think it's this one. And I do that there, and then I put all this here. And you can see it gets that little thing. So now, instead of... Wow. Time out. If I just put one there. Plus four attack. Let's do the same thing. Still plus four attack. So what if I just do a stack there? Can I shift click it? Will that... Nope. So I have to literally click, keep clicking it just like this in a circle. Okay, so it was three damage. We have to remember that. But this is taking a while. If I split it up, we'll give it two more. Okay, yeah, I can do that and it speed, does the process faster. Okay, there we go. Wow, this is taking a lot of nether quartz. Look, we're still at only four damage. Okay, so we got this thing up to five damage. But if you look where I put this in, modifiers remaining two, quartz 64 out of 72. So it is very, very pathetic right now. If I put it in, I can just take the same one out over and over. But as you can see, it's very pathetic. I mean, if you look closely, it it only does five now. So it's going to take a ton, a ton of nether quartz to get that thing up. So that is not something I want to do on screen for sure. But now we know how it works. I think for the... That's, we spent a while mining, getting that good together and figuring that out. But I think the important thing now is that I point something out. A while back... Mun Mumstonator, who has been a huge, huge donator throughout this series, so huge shout out to you, buddy, for being like totally cool, donated me these Wither Skulls and Soul Sand. Okay? Wither Skulls and Soul Sand. If you don't know what these can make, this can make the Wither Boss, which I could put into someone's base, and that would totally wreck their day. I'm gonna turn off sound, my laser's annoying me. And yeah, so that would wreck somebody's day. So if anyone actually 
messes with me. I have the nuke and I have a mother trucking wither, you know? A wither. That'll destroy people. So don't worry, everyone out there. I'm safe. So all you guys worried, it's okay. I'll live. Um, I think the final thing I want to talk about for this episode, because this episode I want to keep nice and on the shorter side, where next episode I have something a little more big plan that I think you guys will enjoy. And it, But um, the final thing I want to talk about was many of you guys said I'm wasting space in here. And the truth is, yeah, I am wasting space in here. I shouldn't be putting backpacks in here. I shouldn't be putting like things I can only put one of. But on the other side, I also can make more of these. And many of you guys said I need to start upgrading this so I don't need to run in that storage issue anymore. So I will be upgrading that again off screen. And then the final thing that many of you also were commenting is what the heck this thing is. And for those who don't know what this is, this is a smeltery. Inside there's a bunch of molten liquid. I can heat things up. I can put ores in. And the ores get turned into liquid ore, which can then I can use stencils and things over here. And it gets really complex really fast. But it's how I made the rapier. So if you guys want an example, if I want to make a sword blade... I'd just put that there, and then what I'd do is I'd right click this, and you can see I let it sit, it hardens, I can then take both pieces, and I now have an obsidian sword blade. Uh, as you can see, I have quite a bit of molten obsidian in there, so I don't mind using that just to show you. And I can put the, uh, I can't put this in, but this is a stencil, a patterns chest, so I can put all my patterns and stuff I create in there. But yeah, that's really it for this episode, guys, so thank you guys for watching, and as always, stay beautiful, and pa 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 Peace out!